Okay guys, so for the last um, few weeks, we have been drawing um, uh, landscapes like WolfCon, and ha we actually kind of did our tree drawings from our imagination because we were drawing in our classroom. But now that you are um, at home, you can draw from observation. So I would like for you to head to a window, don't need to go outside, and find a tree or bush, if, that's, if you don't have a, a larger tree, that you can draw from a window. So I am basically going to draw here from my window. So um, as you can see, you can't see the whole tree this way. So I'm probably gonna draw it pretty big and um, not have space to do everything. So this is my paper, this is my paper, and I am going to start drawing. I'm gonna turn it, the paper though. Okay, so I'm just staying right here next to my window. And um, I actually had to have like a big branch cut off of this tree, so it's really kind of funny looking down here. Um, but it definitely wouldn't look like a drawing of this tree if I didn't draw all those weird places cut off. Oh, sorry. I do not have my like good equipment with me this week for video. So I'm just doing the best I can here. So in this, there are so many like overlapping things that I'm having to, um, they're like all, all crowded here together. So let me show you again up here. You see how that's all crowded together? So that's what I am trying to recreate in my drawing. This needs to be a little bit wider. Sometimes it's kind of hard for me to tell like where um, one branch ends and the other one begins because they are so stuck together. And you know the breaking, branching apart that I talked about a lot last time, because I have so many branches cut off of this one, it's kind of hard to even see where they break apart or where they separate. There's a, there is a separation here. Just can't see it very well because I am not at the right place to see it. Oops. And this needs to keep going up like this. It's kind of behind here. And for this one, I know last time we were talking about, hey, can I add leaves? Well, there's no leaves on this tree. So I am not going to draw what I can't see. I can see some snow on it though. So if you want to add that, you certainly can. I am just trying to get the main part parts of the tree here though. So I'm kind of not to that point yet. So I have some more smaller ones in the back. So when you get to that part might be when you start really, well, or your tree might not be as sad looking as mine. <laughs> um, yeah, part of my tree was touching my house, so part of it had to go. And of course, if you draw a tree where you're a little bit further away from it, 
you will also see more of the tops where things get a lot smaller. I'm so close to mine that I am seeing all of the stuff, the bigger stuff rather than the little stuff. Seeing the big branches instead of the little limbs is what I mean. Sorry, I'm not being very like technical word, word wise. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out what I missed here. Okay, and there's another branch going along this way, or a big limb really, that separates up here. Okay, so I really could keep going on this for a while, but you get the basic idea of the beginning of this, and I'd love to see what you guys create.